Hi, this is Ed Rushman, Whitestone Journal, talking a little bit about experience. You know, things happen to all of us and we have to interpret them. And a lot of the way that we interpret experience has to do with how we've interpreted it in the past. So what happens is we kind of get ourselves in a pattern. If we see ourselves as persecuted, then everything that comes along is another reason why we're persecuted. It's kind of like once we get an idea in our heads, then everything seems to reinforce it. And, you know, some people have very strong causes and social things and every place they look in the news, even not their own experience, they see it as a confirmation of their worldview, of the way that they, uh, the way that they see things. Uh, one of the ones I remember was that people that are interacting with people of a different, that they perceive as a different race or social group or something else, will interpret anything that bad that happens uh, as if it was motivated by that. So if somebody thinks that Italians don't like them and they think that the person that is waiting on them at the store is Italian and it takes a little bit longer or the person's busy or uh, something goes wrong, they may attribute it to, oh, they're Italian, they don't like me. Uh, or, you know, or whatever group it might be. It might be a difference in wealth. It doesn't have to be something having to do with uh, national origins or something. Uh, and it could be age. It could be, my goodness, it could be taste in clothes. It could be that somebody that's waiting on me looks like a hipster and, and I've got something against hipsters. So I think that because my drink, okay, yeah, I can't help but do the Starbucks thing. Uh, you know, because my latte isn't made right, or the picture isn't right, when they stick a picture in these things. Uh, okay, so disclosure, I don't actually drink coffee. For no particular reason, except that I never have, and now, at this point in my life, it's interesting that I don't. So, okay, I'm just telling you, I make Starbucks examples, even though I never go to Starbucks, except to get hot chocolate sometimes, so whatever. Uh, anyway, the point is, uh, we interpret according to what the ideas are that we already had. That doesn't leave a lot of room for experiences to change our minds. Because if we're always interpreting experience according to what we already believe, every experience confirms our possibly, or probably, uh, wrong idea. That's an awful thing. I mean, that's really, really getting stuck. I mean, what hope is there for people if everything that goes on just confirms what we already believe, how do we ever make a change? How do we ever come to see something else? So there are a few things, and one of them is compassion and, and well, and love for people. An awful lot of our bad experiences, the day-to-day -day bad experiences, not the horrific things that happen, but bad experiences where we feel that somebody slighted us or, or didn't serve us well in a, in a commercial setting or a friend that kind of just blows us off one day and doesn't really seem to be very interested or interesting. Uh, a lot of that can be attributed to other people having a bad day. To the So here's a funny thing. We go through life and we've got good and bad days. We have good and bad moments. Things Sometimes for some whatever reason, we just don't feel all that great. Uh, or we just feel irritable or prickly and, and, and I don't know what it is. Uh, but the problem is that we're living in a world of seven and a half billion people, as of this time anyway, roughly, and everybody else is going through the same thing. So it's kind of like if there's a one out of 10 chance that I'll be in a lousy mood and I'm around a bunch of people all day, there's a pretty good chance that somebody else that's got a one in 10 chance, that we're both gonna have a bad day at the same time. And then we'll attribute that. It's, it's possible for me to attribute their behavior and, and according to, through the lens of my own unhappiness or my own having a bad day, uh, as being, having a reason, uh, having a reason other than the fact that sometimes we all have bad days or bad moments. Um, so maybe start thinking, you know, the next time that somebody in a store annoys you or a friend or whatever, consider that maybe they're just having a bad day. Maybe you're having a bad day. And attribute it to things that are not a choice they're making. They're not trying to be mean. Uh, that it's just that random thing the same as the rest of us. 
uh, start to maybe consider other people are human just like us and that not everything that people do has a reason that is easy to discern. Uh, you know, reason, easy to discern is, oh, I hate you because of X. But uh, maybe it's just that way. Maybe somebody else was mean to them and hurt them and now it's they're still getting over that. They're still hurting. And that's why they're doing what they're doing. And it's not even directed at us. And that's, you know, it's really true that an awful lot of the things that go wrong, a lot of our negative experiences are things that really have nothing to do with any, inter nothing to do with us, nothing even to do with a relationship. It's just, it's just the random element. It's just the fact that, and that somebody else was mean to somebody and now they're in a lousy mood, so they're not as nice to us as we'd like, so that puts us in a bad mood, and then we go off and interpret somebody else's bad mood as something other than it is. A lot of this is getting down to the truth, trying to understand what the truth really is. And uh, Anyway, stuff to think about. When we interpret what happens, the interpretation is everything. If we interpret events wrong, if we get it wrong, then our whole worldview either gets confirmed in the way that we already believe, which is probably faulty, because it is for all of us, uh, or else uh, we end up doing harm to somebody else because of something that we've misinterpreted, and then that person will misinterpret it, and it just makes a big old mess. Anyway, I'm Ed Rushman for White Stone Journal.